this photograph Every time I do it makes me laugh How did our eyes get so red? And what the hell is on Joey's said? This is where I grew up I think the president would have fixed it up I never knew we ever went without The second floor is not for sneaking out And this is where I went to school Most of the time I had better things to do Criminal record says I've broken twice I must have done it half a dozen times I wonder if it's too late Should I go back and try to graduate? Last man and now that it was back then If I was them I wouldn't let me Victories, the organizations you created that will last through the generations, the melodies of prestige playing as you walk down the halls during the passing period, and of course, the smell of pig manure from the neighbor's farm. <laughs> Citrus Valley High School, a profound memory for all of us. Today we gather here to commemorate a once-in-a-lifetime moment, an introspective moment, to look onto how we've grown together as a class, from the very first rally here at Citrus, walking around that field absolutely clueless, to this day, our first flight of Blackhawks. I would like to thank our teachers, parents, and staff for standing by us through our struggles in shaping the paths of the first graduates that stand before you. Before I continue on, allow me to acknowledge those beloved Blackhawks who are no longer with us. But instead of mourning upon those we have lost, allow me to cherish their memory. Austin Barton was a brother, a son, and of course a best friend of mine and many others. His character taught me that we should be determined to always stay true to ourselves and to stand up for what we believe. Kayvon Davis touched the hearts of so many at our school. He taught us to love one another and to value life for what it is. A powerful athlete, a dedicated student, and a tremendous friend. Kayvon epitomized a true black hawk. Michael Newbold was a great teacher and a phenomenal coach to the speech and debate team. He taught us that preparation is the key to success. And I can sincerely say that our team has proven its potential this year. So, as our first class takes flight, let us keep them under our wings, and they will keep us under theirs. Now, Let's not forget the rather glorious memories we have had creating this school. We are the first graduating Blackhawks, the first flight, and there are so many firsts we have claimed. Christian Amos was the first to walk around with a lettersman jacket, or even bringing home our first victories to our new stadium, a triumph only a few had the chance to claim. <laughs> we could always count on teachers like Mr. Rooney, to brain blast our minds into an enlightened dementia, like with his fireball lab. Or Mr. McGrath, to brighten our day with his outstanding benevolence. And donuts. Today, as we walk across this stage, we must remember that after 13 years of education, experience, socializing, and high school drama, we open a new door to a new test, a test of human self-discipline, life. In life, when we are given a set of choices, we must choose. Right or wrong, we will discover the consequences. 
But the test of life isn't always about making the right decision. More importantly, it's learning from the wrong ones. Failure can teach you things about yourself, which you could have never learned any other way. It can strengthen your determination and open your eyes to friends that will stand by your side when you're at your worst, many of whom we've met here. You see, failure is just simply success in a different time. Remember when our pool wasn't even built and we were forced to use the RHS pool? Yet our swim team still made it to CIF that year. Remember our girls' soccer and softball team, which weren't even in a league their first year? This year, they are both CIF champions. Remember our first year of football, when we only won a single game, yet now Mountain Valley League champions. Though we were never trained for this role upon entering this campus, in those three years, we became leaders together. We built a culture, an ethic, an ideal. We built a high school together. Thus, whether it's success, failure, or simply hardship, know that everything happens all for a reason. When we are lied to, when we break up and have to let go, when good things crumble away, it's never accidentally. It always happens for a reason. However, we can never figure out why looking forward. We can only connect the dots looking backwards. So as we bring this memory, this adventure, this chapter of life to a close, remember that even though our schooling might be over, our education, experience, and social interaction will be forever lasting. When you leave today, Remember why you had come, because today we celebrated an ending, but tomorrow we light the path to a new beginning. Now, most of you may think that this diploma is the key to a good life, but let me ask you to think of one alternative. Think of this certificate as your key to unlocking the world. Today is just our first flight. We are now open to new doors, new opportunities, new beginnings. So graduates of 2012, why don't you all take a look at your neighbors at your right and left. Go ahead. These people standing beside you have become your family. After today, we will all go our separate paths. But never forget where you come from. Never forget what we as the first Blackhawk family had created together. Never forget the black and gold. Never forget the proud and bold.